I want 30K to stand for helping young players, young talent really achieve their dream in esports. You know, for me, this journey has been like unforgettable and something that I feel like has helped progress me and push me forward. And I want 30K to just be a vehicle that can really help younger players, people interested in getting in esports, you know, giving them a little bit of experience and knowledge and helping them really achieve their unachievable, whatever goal or dream they have within esports, helping them get there. But that's not the only thing that is attacking course. On the right side of the map, we have Catapults moving in. On two lanes, here comes Odin. They're trying to defend. Punisher is still doing some work here. And guys, he can do some serious work. The core is falling and the blue team, they need to get their shit together and really start to take this one down because this could be a problem too. Core is down to 50%. They didn't think that it could end it, but with the Catapult in the back, there might be a chance. 32%, 27. Stukov down. The Catapult is still there. 23%. They're trying to go for it, but the first one's already down. That's a kill against Imperius. 17%. Are you fucking kidding me? 19 <laughs> the wave is coming in. They're trying to head back and it's over. It's just over as the Winions take it for Chili Mountain. <laughs> you can totally see that. I mean, if you can't see that, I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, that guy is so arrogant and he's just... He, oh, well, he's part of why they got killed. Newberg is back. He needs a little bit more time. Shots are fired. They're going to be down to one. Bam. And here comes the Pumpkins. He needs to delay this. No, Smexy, he's trapped. Zeratul is down. The Smex Master eliminated. Two dead. The Nubrak still trapped at the bottom of the map. And with Cassia also down. This is game. This is the lead. Nicely done. Vengeance, beautiful, beautiful. The kill against Chromie. Girel, she jumps out. The core is eating damage now. 42 seconds until the Chrome Star is back. This is a disaster. Core is gonna eat some damage. They might not be able to finish it off completely. The question is, can they get another kill? It looks good, and indeed they do. They take Girel down. Dainu dies though, Dainu dies. The core is at 56% and is taking even more damage. They're looking for more kills. They're looking for a few more moves. 48, 46%, they're stuns! And another move for Marker who nearly dies. Smexy jumping in, jumping out, and the bright big player is able to make it out of the battle. 40 points on the core. The battle is still not over. They're starting to take the uh, right clicks again, and this should be the end of the game. Marker, he's doing what he can, but there's the hit in the quasa. Finishes him off. Well done. The 2-1 win for 30k as they take Chili Mountain down to move on to the winner bracket final. Going up against the Donuts, uh, we felt pretty confident uh, at first because uh, in the regular season of uh, Masters Clash, usually we were beating the Donuts in the competitive games. Uh, we were still pretty confident that we can defeat them and that we just step up our gameplay. Right? He dies eventually, but he kept them alive for so long and now they still have a fighting chance. Lava in the bunker, Mayev down, it seems like 30k is cleaning house after all. Stukov delayed it. Masquerade, he had such a fantastic opening. And now he's just getting bullied again. Medivh is down, loses the stacks once more. They're farming Diablo and the donuts are scrapping all over 30k. And that's ladies and gentlemen, is the first victory in this best of five for the donuts. They are tying their series. 30k against the Donuts. It's a 1-1 as Cursed Hollow gets decided in favor of the red team. We kind of underperformed on some of the games. Uh, Holy Ming didn't work at all. Or Medivh into the, in the Cursed game didn't work. Yeah, maybe it's land excitement, stuff like that. But yeah, we kind of underperformed this game. Another win for the Donuts. Nicely done. The Immortal alone is going to take this one out as they're still chasing a bit. A 2-1 lead in the best of five series in the winner bracket final. Great performance by the red team as we are heading into game number four. 
right wing is down. Is this the beginning of the end? Svam Grotta is low. The heels are coming out. Five versus four. They're coming in once more for the next kill against Imperius. But the hook against Leo. The mob to the face. Imperius is dead. Dino jumping to his death. It has to be the end of this. Three heroes down. The Donuts with the 3-1 victory in the winner bracket final against 30k as the blue team drops down into the loser's bracket to face off against the Hardos. GG and congratulations. Well, losing against the Donuts in the winner's brackets, that was a little bit disappointing for the team because we felt like they are the easier opponents for us. I said like, yo, guys, don't worry, we got this, we are not losing tomorrow, we got to step up our gameplay, we got to play better, like, we're gonna fight till the end, and we can still win the tournament. Here's the attack once again, top gag plays after the cocoon was already used, here's the birdie, the birdie, the stun, and the attempt to go for a kill, the Chromesa gets attacked, Hazu again in trouble, Yasu is also low, Uther, he might die too, but the first one to fall is Chromie, and they are cleaning house right now, everybody is solo, Chris gets attacked, they're taking him, they're trying to go for Maev, she's there too, the panda is eliminated, Kua gets attacked, they're trying for it, but yeah, there's just no stopping this one. That's a great game, that's a wrap. That's 30k with a 1-0 lead against the Hardos in the loser bracket final. And nicely done and well played as we're heading into the game. How about you? And in the meantime, Bad Benny is sitting tight again. Taunts Johanna. Insults her haircut or something, like I don't know. And there's the kill against Zaratul. Zaratul is down easy. Nice play by Tracer. They follow up with the second kill. Unleashed. 30k. They're going for Bad Benny too. They're like, wait a second. You insulted our Jojo a second ago? Oh boy. Another big win for 30k as they take for the second time in this best of five. That lead. A 2-1 lead for the blue team as they win Infernal Shrines. And May is in trouble. That's 23 gems. 23 gems just got taken. Chris recovers them. He himself also in a lot of trouble right now. And he barely makes it out. But he eats the stun. And that's another kill. Two kills. Hans Ops is re recovering as many. Yeah, it's just no stopping this any further. 30k is moving on to the grand final, everybody. To face off in the best of seven series against the Donuts. Top three team it was very close uh, skill wise. Anybody could win. Like, you had to be on your best day. And uh, I'm pretty sure our best day beats anyone else's best day. We were going to Masters Clash to get the number one spot. We wanted to win that. So you can't get uh, too excited. You have to be calm for the next series. So we were like, all right, let's get the finals, let's get our revenge for yesterday. Masquerade, Masquerade, and Daiquaza is coming in. Yeah, the rest of the team is all of a sudden there, and if the tether connects and it does, then they should be able to get a kill or two, and they're moving in for Fi immediately. Protector's already out, one kill. Alayas is all the way at the top here to defend their keep. So down here, they're still fighting it out. The Divine Shield and Bala just to be on the safe side, but they at least get the Entomb through. All right, and there it is, the kill, the double. <laughs> 18 to 30, Leo is doing what he can, Scott is back too, they want the kills, they want Vala and Dino just doesn't care, and this is game, as 30k locks in the victory on the first map in the best of seven, GG, and well done. Could have backfired, but you will see that battle on the minimap the entire time, oh ho ho ho, what it's done, Woo! great, great setup from uh, Tyrael 2 though. And that turns against the Nubarak who dies first, even though he still gets the cocoon out. But that was it after he takes the minion wave down. There's already the Entomb, but the bunker is counteracting it. And False Dead gets cocoon, can't use the gas. Holy Arena is in. They want the kill. Swap Ah, he's alive! 
if he's dead. <laughs> Once that takes him down. And now they go for a potential second kill. Lauma dove in, but gets isolated by the Mighty Gust. And that is kill number two. Beautiful buried alive. The Entomb hits home. Five-man team wipe as the donuts are getting eaten alive. 30k moves through their opponent like hot butter through cheese as they lock in a second win, the 2-1 lead for the blue team in this grand final. Impressive performance by 30k. Up with the more traditional build going for the Echo Corruption, so we're seeing no variation. The normal build for now. Dino! Yeah! I'm sorry, you got in that rotation. And they even tried to interrupt the next one. There's a slide and there's a kill, and that is two kills for the donuts. They are shutting them down hard. Ultralis gets attacked. Yeah, he's dead. There is no way he makes it. Nice arrow. He buys some time, so maybe they can get a counter kill. Oh, Vala, not hit here. Oh, the Divine Shield. And ETC dies. So does Vala. And that's the big fight right now. It was a pretty rough wake-up call for the Donuts, losing two games in a row. But now they're looking way better. And they get the second turn in. So that's a double turn in for them right away. And of course, the big opportunity to take more, uh, pretty much all of the forts. Oh my god, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is brutal. The Donuts, they are murdering 30k in this game. And the red team, sorry. So yeah, they go for the camp here. They are at the choke point. They have to take risks. It's the only way that they can win this, to take some risks. And here comes the play for Lauber. They bully him around. Bunker is already out. They're trying to save everybody. But here comes Dino flanking in. They're body blocking. They're body blocking. Svamkronda messed up. The kill plays. He's dead. And Ural is chasing. Not the only one that's chasing here. Stukov, he'll die. He will die. He has no chance to escape here. Ixia has no chance. And they're going for the kill the side. What the fuck? How are they winning this? You've got to be kidding. It is a four versus two, and Uta will be back. They go for core, they're trying to end the game here. Are you fucking kidding me? You can't be serious. Carrigan wants the kill, and Ultralist, he survives. He survives, and Gul'dan died. Carrigan will fall too. What the hell is happening here? How? How? Explain it to me. They turn the game around and take the 3-1 lead in the grand final. This is ridiculous. What a performance by the blue team. This is absolutely nuts. Alright, so. Marcel is in. Over here, what else are we gonna get? Are they with 10 to 4 stacks yielding the position to the blue team? Red team is pushing onto the point and is trying to control the shrine, but here comes the attack, the arrow, the apocalypse. Vala getting attacked, the bunker, and he's safe. Vala safe for now, tranquility is used, Lauba in trouble, and goodbye, big boy. That's the kill against Diablo, he'll be back. He had the stacks, but it's the second kill in the game, and both of them for 30k. Doesn't have the ult ready. As the fight, of course, goes duration. Here comes the attack. Arrow connects. He has the A. Bog has a follow up, but the sanctification is absolutely on point. They're trying to go for the killer root. So is dead again. Kerrigan is down. Kerrigan is dead. Swam Grotta. He. Oh, they keep him alive. But Lauber gets ganked up. And they take Diablo down. That is Stukov, guys. This could be game. This could be game. Hanzo is dead. They are nearly getting the five man wipe. They go for the keep, and this might just be it. 14 minutes in, they're making their move. 30k, is it really happening? Four wins in a row, four wins in a row through the loser's bracket. They come in here, and they win the Masters Clash. They decide the best of seven in their final. What an insane performance by the team in blue. Well deserved, GG, well played, and they are the champion of the Masters Clash 2021. Uh, 
the tournament was really important for me and well that's the tournament I wanted to win the most and I'm really glad we made it. Shout out to my team.